I have decided I'm going to share a little video with you here. It's quite interesting video. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, this interesting guys here. They were not the only guys that dressed well in Africa, but these guys too uh, participated in it. I remember they would have people uh, that would have a competition. They would dress themselves uh, really nicely and so on and so forth. But maybe what's interesting is maybe even how this got to do how uh, what with my story basically with what I have gone through how I observe these things basically how I, I uh, how I watched this whole thing and I wasn't by myself I was not the only one who watched this uh, so the story unlikely is related to what I published today about this. Putin blew up plane. Yesterday I published how Putin blew up the plane involved in MK Ultra. I know you're gonna say what this got to do with it and so on. How are you mixing all this stuff? I said you know it's actually really really simple. It's actually really really simple. I did videos on Africa uh, what I would do as an African, how I would want to see things as an African and I will continue to do so because the word here is about the globalism. The word is about the globalism. Uh, today, the politicians are globalists. Of course, it's not difficult to figure out the biggest influencers on a globe are American, led West, and also Russians want their peace. In reality, they're not the biggest. There is another force that is merging from behind. And I don't think the either side like one. I will talk about that third option in continuation. But right now, I just want to give you like a little understanding about this stuff here. Today, I continued and upgraded this post into what became post where I actually point out it's related to this Russian plane is basically is the continuation it's basically what I point out some sort of Soviet indoctrination that is definitely was implicated in MK Ultra uh, through which uh, both sides, for a Russian side and Ukrainian side, coordinated. Uh, both sides, Russian and Ukrainian sides, both coordinated. There is something missing here, and I don't like when something is missing anywhere. Just need to make sure this stuff is really missing. Yeah, it is really it is not. I didn't manage to paste that stuff inside. It's, so we're gonna do it like this and I did this stuff already and I probably probably uh, clicked on a button when there was no this is just some details more details about this type of plane yeah I mean this shit is scary I mean if you read this post to understand what I am talking about in this video you must have already read this post this is like a precondition to understand this, but I'm going to clarify a few issues in this stuff, which in this case are going to be related to the neo-Nazism in Ukraine. Nazi issues in Ukraine. Well, folks, I'm going to tell you straight that what I witnessed in Ukraine was taking place was everything but normal in respect to coming war on Ukraine. I uh, pointed out here that Ukrainians traveled to Russia and Russians traveled to Ukraine. It was to be due to mutual agreement. Some Russian took helicopter to Ukraine uh, and it must have been the same thing from Ukrainian side, although not reported. 
both sides interchanged with certain issues uh, both sides flirted with one another uh, and everything was in the name of the anti-neo-nazism it was something that the rest of the world embraced at large but I want to talk about it I want to talk about at what a cost at what a cost I want to talk about this stuff I want to talk about at what a cost well for one thing, the state, whatever country you're from, whether you're from South Africa or you're from China, Japan, I don't care, Thailand or Nigeria or Kenya or Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, United States, Britain, France, whatever it is, Poland whatever the country might be the thing is that you cannot have the country unless everybody is equal in the country you cannot have the country unless everybody is equal in that country it doesn't matter what country you're from the first thing is what you are is your nationality that is the first thing whatever it is that you are from and when it comes to the war you know i am here from slovenia that's a country little country right next to italy austria which is german-speaking population in the south we have Croatia and on the east we have uh, Hungary this is such a small little country in this country was assaulted you know it happened so it was assaulted by Italians who delivered fascism and it was delivered and it was assaulted by the Germans who delivered even worse the nazism and it was much with idea to cleanse ethnically this little nation and the people such as partisans appeared in the picture these are the people that uh, stood up against the against the a nazism against the fascism they went to the forests and they fought like a guerrilla war against occupators those who came to take over this territory there's a lot of issues that that popped up in this part of the world which is spike of this uh, of the Slavic nations even that Adolf Hitler had a plan to exterminate at large uh, people are faced with a lot of pressure and you know the partisans came out as the winners in 1945 as Hitler capitulated to West to United States of America, Britain. This same form of guerrilla war and Soviet Union, of course, Soviet Union, this same type of guerrilla war was also led in France and or in parts of Europe, Poland, whatever, whatever, uh, germans italians took over and the thing is that we have to ask you have to ask yourself who is this man here to answer this nazi issue here i mentioned here in this post here you have to ask yourself who is this man here who are this men here that you see who are these people here that you see here that that went on to do the stuff like this fight 
Nazis toe to toe. Well, they're just the people, as I told you earlier, Slovenian people. The same like in Poland, Polish people. The same like in Ukraine, Ukrainian people. The same like in France, French people. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? When you go to the war for your homeland, the first thing you are is Ukrainian, Slovenian, Polish, Russian, French, German, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, Nigerian, South African, Brazilian, whatever, Mexican, whatever, American, whatever it is that you are, this is the first thing you are. In the military, there is not possible to segregate. You don't do that kind of stuff. If you want to and you have to, you should segregate. Is basically prior to sending people on the front line. If you have a mentally ill people, don't send them with the rest of the people because they're going to screw the whole thing up. It's very important to keep fit and clear and clean picture at all the time. Or you are, you are at risk of destroying the uh, entire military like this. You have to do so. And when it comes to the Nazism, there shouldn't be no place for the Nazis inside of the army. Those are the things that the people, the type of people that should not hold weapons in their arms anymore. They lost the war 80 years ago. It was it. They went on the history uh, repository. Uh, you understand? It's over with whatever was 80 years ago. But there is a politician they would not let go. Because the politician is a monster. Indifferent from... Well, I'm not going to say it's indifferent because it's very different. But you ever participated to the auctioning? Auctioneers. I had a chance. I was lucky to see this. Watch this, how the auctioneers work. When they put, you know, uh, if you ever watch the auctioneers, uh, let me just see some, uh, what is this here, livestock. I personally was doing a gallery uh, related work, auctioneering. And have watched these auctioneers basically how they they auction their art and so on and people people just who's gonna give more who's gonna give more okay I hear one hundred dollar yeah I hear two hundred dollar two hundred dollars okay auctioneering the man in red two hundred dollar okay three hundred dollar three hundred dollar and so on so we go who they they try to get. Like any other, I don't want to hear what I'm sure would be many people's surprise, including my own. They have competitions to see who the best in the world is. They recently had a quarterfinal in Athens. And so okay, this is different, but all right, so I already gave you the idea about all this stuff, you know. And so, you know, uh, in Africa, and I did the videos about Africa, you know. I suggested you in the videos that I have made it for the Africa, for to African people, I advise you, be very, very careful. Be very, very careful what you do. I noticed that when Russians would go to Africa, or it would be whatever, you know, they would be using me, Americans would be using me, Germans would be using me, and so on. And they were always looking forward to put me on a picture with already their politicians over there from whatever country they would deliver me. And it wasn't the same shit in Brazil or Argentina, South America, or in Asia or whatever, maybe whatever country, or in Japan or China or whatever. And the first thing they would do is they would torture me. After they would accomplish certain 
level of rejection, uh, agitation in me, let's say the British would deliver somebody with their local, through the local politicians of whatever country, somebody on a picture, and start to insist me, how about this man or this lady and so on. And it would be all based on no, and they would demand the reason as per why no. And it would be something funny that person would wear or whatever. And there was it. It's nothing wrong with this. It's nothing wrong with his shoes. Or it's nothing wrong with his shirt. Or it's nothing wrong with whatever. It's nothing wrong. <whistles> Make sure I have tomorrow all the stores from London in uh, somewhere in Kenya or whatever. And so it went. This is just one type of example. But there was another type of example. The Russians learned, everybody learned that pointing out at somebody, it's like really disturbing and insulting behavior too. Suggesting him, hey, by the way, <laughs> your watch sucks. Or, hey, your shoes are ugly. Or, you know, hey, you know, your shirt. Uh, your, your pants, by the way, this kind of pants, you know. Um, they learned, basically, to disturb people. The second thing they learned about was that once they give me this image, this mask over me, this MK Ultra mask, this image about somebody who was a Nazi, they would deliver me to certain countries, whatever country in the world they wanted to fuck somebody, something. And I would find maybe even in Africa, that's why I demonstrated you whatever. This guy's here, it was many others. Um, gorgeous ladies, uh, whom they would go and they would start to harass them. By the way, they approach the people from the side. They will go and say, by the way, uh, we think you are a Nazi. And it would be like, fuck, what is the Nazi, basically? Literally almost like this. He liked you. He liked you. You know, it was enough that I like somebody dressing himself nicely, whatever, or give one uh, compliment, you know, fuck, you know, you're drugged up, you will definitely go and choose a brighter picture. There is no doubt about that. Uh, you will prefer certain neighborhoods when you're drugged up. And you will prefer to see certain people who are dressed up differently. Um, you know. Um, and it was immediately, by the way, we think you are a Nazi. And the person would be like, hey, what the fuck? But the thing is that there will be people very soon that this person did not even know exist to this extent. Maybe somebody who was not very friendly with the person that would find on a picture and it would be, yeah, yeah, we do think that kind of stuff. And so I started to harass people basically on my liking them. A new sport Lavra was really good at intimidating, harassing people. They, they started to harass to degree people that people started to look at themselves like in a mirror like people became like paranoid like the fuck I mean uh, like yesterday when I felt good about myself all of a sudden was gone is it really the truth the entire world is looking at me people becoming a paranoid started to look at themselves study about what the fuck do I see in the mirror what I see is it really me Am I really such a monster for wearing fucking shoes and shirt and dressing myself up? 
What's happening here with me? And that the kind of stuff was used because whatever they were, Russians were also Americans. That was the funny, another thing that I have to tell you, whatever it was Americans, always was also Russians. And whatever was Russians always, also always was Americans. I'm just using this because also was others. It was British and it was Germans and it was all kinds of stuff, right? And so now you get to choose. You get to choose, man. You get to choose. Or you're gonna not going to like him or you are just like him. You are a Nazi. Yeah, once started, people started to like me, it was, they were listed to be basically labeled as like enemy of the state, something like this. Like, no good, you're no good. You, you just affiliated yourself with a Nazi, so therefore you're no good, whatever the Nazi is. If the people refused to see anything other in me than an individual who's being drugged up, tortured, there you go, you just became a Nazi, congratulations. And so it was like, you're going to be, well, Americans on the other hand would go and they would give some cash for those with the British that were willing to defend the Nazi, you know. Here, you're going to get some money, basically, if you're going to defend him. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's uh, Russians, you know. It's, you know, the people take fucking money anywhere. I don't know any country that people would not be interested in business. And if their government was okay with it, you know, if the government went like, it was, people would take money and it would, yeah, just fuck it, you know. You, you know, come to me that I must change myself, whatever. Well, well, fucking change what, basically. And this is the way it went, yeah. So, but you know what? Remember the videos I posted you. If you're not with us, you're with them. Uh -huh. The thing is that no longer was about the people. Remember when I tell you about the person looking at himself with a mirror and I started to ask himself, like, the fuck, is it really me? Is it this shit actually happening to me? Like yesterday, my life was completely different. And the local governments were really good with the corrupt politicians to stalk, harass, intimidate people. And it started the process. It's called division, basically. If you're not with us, you're with them. Now you get to pick. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be, or you're a Nazi. This is basically the Russians would insist. And America would insist different. Well, you know, here is the money. Uh, if you don't mind him, the Russians are hallucinating and this and that, which they were. But the thing is, they did this shit coordinatedly with one another. They talked to one another. They had agreement with one another. The main core, the main idea was for the people no longer to recognize themselves in mirrors. It wasn't about the people anymore. It was about the nations. And this is basically how the colonialism works. That's how they have, that's how Putin introduced himself into the, you know, Central African Republic and so on in that area and so on, right? That's basically is how they started to enter. And I told you that once you, you will stop seeing yourself in you and you're going to start to pick the sides, it's going to be like in Syria. Syrian people got to choose whether they wanted to be bombarded by Americans, I should say NATO, or by the Russians. Which do you like better? Hopefully, you will not become next at this process. What do you think is happening in Ukraine? I mentioned this auctioneering earlier. By the way, this issue was resolved at my satisfaction, 
and it's what made me extremely happy, was by the Chinese, the third option I didn't mention to you about. It was the Chinese that observed well from behind. It was also the Chinese that watched this quietly, silently. They watched, right? They watched this stuff, and they started to fuck with the people. They started to play with the people, and they watched from the side. And before you know, there was more beautiful shirts that appeared in the picture. There were more beautiful pants, more beautiful dresses, more beautiful shoes, more beautiful, more beautiful. And the new culture was born. People figure out that it's better to be influencers that you see right there than rebels. Because Americans and Russians, they want it. They want to give you guns. They want to give you weapons. <laughs> so you can go, you can shoot one another good. Chinese figure out the difference. We're going to bring you nice, affordable shoes, shirts, dresses, and so on. And it's why I promoted China. That's why I became even greater ally of the China already during and care. That's, that's why I like China. That's why I told you, if you're going to do business with somebody, do it with the China. What about Ukraine? The people who went into Ukraine in the military first as a volunteers were all kinds of people. But majority of these people were the people who felt strong about Ukraine, but the people that whose parents themselves were subjected to the Russian purge, they were um, victims of terrorism, which should have ended with fall of the Soviet Union. But it did not because of the people in Kiev, because of certain Ukrainian politicians. And what the fuck good is it to you, the country that is independent, your newly founded homeland, when you are in God knows what position, not a good position at all. My position in Slovenia is no good at all. What the fuck is good to you, the country, the newly independent country, where you have people in the state disregarding your life, basically treating you like a shit, even hijacking you and taking you to Moscow for torture. I mean, Slovenia, I was not the only one. Ukrainians had Ukrainian people hijacked to Russia too. It was like this during MK Ultra, and I've seen that stuff. The partisans are everywhere. The partisans are just known as partisans because during the World War II, whether it was a Chinese partisans or it was a French partisans or it was whatever resistance in whichever part of the world that was occupied, either by the Japanese or Germans, or by Italians, simply have resisted and have fought for their existence, for their for existence of their people, basically, for their language, for their folklore, for for basically to have their words spoken in their language. You understand? That's a partisan. So in the World War II, it just happened so that this they fought against. Germans, they fought against against Italians, against the Japanese. But what happens when you have assault coming from the Soviet Union? The unlikely, the one that you have actually partnered with during the World War II, that you actually have 
defended yourself against together with the Russians. What happened then when they entered the picture and you find yourself in a world of your own people in Ukraine or Slovenia <coughs> who, by the way, are keen to this invasion. And actually, they are inviting the problems into Ukraine. Yesterday, you had a friend that is dead because of whatever happened to him. You find yourself in Moscow somewhere, drugged up, interrogated. Or in Ukraine, with the Russians participating, interrogation during MK Ultra. You can't find job. You're isolated. But what happened then? When they refer to that stuff as a forced integration. I would not equal one with the West. I do not agree with it. There are two phenomena. One phenomena pertains to the Eastern Europe. And the second phenomena pertains to the West. To the West, which they call the forced integration. It's related to the so-called uh, undocumented immigration, immigrants and so on, is not real. That is the integration that is being used to deliver on a surface intolerance, which is even Nazi-related issues. There are being, I'm going to stop here, used for whatever purposes. I will not go for it. But there is this second integration throughout the Eastern Europe that's bloody real. That's the one I already have spoken about. You don't want to spend your life without a job with Russians moving in your neighborhood and taking it over and basically already tell you the date when you're going to be out of your house and where you're going to be buried at. But this is the way it was in my case. With the Serbs, this is the way it is in Moscow, uh, in throughout Ukraine. And in return for the deal with the Zelensky, a Russian side also sacrificed few of their, in a parenthesis, Nazis. Now, how are the Nazis made? I have already explained. When you no longer can see yourself in values of the yesterday that you have defended, like such as was my case, when both sides of the family participated in the World War II resistance, heavily so, with brother of my mother being killed with gun in his hands fighting Germans, with my grandfather being secretary of the city during the World War II that supply troops with much necessary partisan troops with much necessary medications and all of a sudden you find yourself in a new world when you no longer are welcome to exist where your birth arrival to this world is a knowledge is a mistake for the sake of ethnic cleansing you are going to start to switch the table whether you fucking like it or not and start to see yourself just as was in my case it didn't make any fucking sense to me. Beginning the 1994, I'm not insane. I knew that Germany lost war, Italy lost war, Japan lost war. But during the torture, which was so severe, the next door here in Schmarietta, in front of the in front of the memorials dedicated to the Partisans where I was accused that I was Nazi. Finally, that I was Nazi because I immigrated to the United States of America. Strange enough, because they all work together. I started to hallucinate that uh, the Germany still exists. 
for being accused of being a neo-Nazi German during MK Ultra torture, bestiality, because it was a, such a bestiality. I became certain that by will of God, somebody will come to retaliate against this, which I had nothing to deal with, do with and was accused of. That I started to hallucinate, in fact, that Nazi Germany is still not finished. Just so I could avoid a total, it's not humiliation, but a defeat. I would rather retrieve myself into completely another world out of the one to reject, deny, them being right, even for the cost of my ancestry, even for the cost of my both families on both sides of the family. This is how severe the torture was. The one who makes the Nazi is the Moscow, the one who makes the Nazi is the Belgrade and the Serbs, the one who makes the Nazi is Milan Kuchin from Ljubljana, the one who makes the Nazi is Louis Peterle, Igor Boucher, Dmitry Rupel. Those are the ones that make the Nazis are the auctioneers. The auctioneers, that's why this is a quite interesting video, isn't it? It's quite intensive. Where the people departed to the war in Ukraine some of which might even identify him, themselves as a Nazis, were left far behind and were not even seen, all through they give hell to the aggressors, to the assailants. They no longer were seen as a Ukrainians, they were no longer seen as a people. They were only seen by the politicians, by the auctioneers, as a Nazis. So Fuck them. Goodbye. Now you're off to Ukraine, to the Russia as a prisoner of war. Such was the story of the Mariupol, for which I already told Zelensky during MK Ultra, I will never fucking agree with it. And it wasn't the story about the Mariupol only, it was also about other cities where such people were defending it to the last bit and left behind to rot, die, or surrender for. P-O-W. This is the real truth about war in Ukraine, which is being fought by the best of Ukraine that Ukraine had, lives being lost for the sake of administration, for the sake of the upper government in Kiev. I do not trust even a little bit. I'm going to put it plain and simple have not seen enough to believe that everything out there is okay. And when you do this kind of stuff, when you go and you tell people, you know, this one defected to us with a helicopter, Zelensky portrays the pictures. Is the guy that we already negotiated with before. You see, guys? You see, guys, what I got you? You see how successful we are at? Russians on the other like on the other side they like some Bradley confiscated here and there. And so it works. But the question for the better world, for all the sides, for the India, for the China, for Brazil, for Argentina, Mexico, for Africa to see themselves in this conflict is actually the price that Ukrainian people had to pay, a sacrifice they had to make, like the one I suggested you have just taken place with a plane where 65 Ukrainian people were blown up and the Russians added another, I don't know how many, eight. So just you need to understand the video that I make you for you to understand where your place is at. I do not support Nazism. It's a job, security job of every country to make sure that no Nazi would get 
weapons in his hands and that all the lives equal are defended that enter especially on a front line are defended or for whatever cost which is actually the policy of the u.s military no troop left behind at whatever cost it takes thanks for watching this video that's all i wanted to do with this video Some have referred uh, to the war in Ukraine a little bit there, a little bit there, therefore border changing, boom, 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 and Soviet Union again is born. Some of them. I did not believe, I will continue to refuse to believe that, and I don't like to see professional military analysts uh soldiers also to participate in front lines together with ukrainian troops for their sake for the sake of ukraine so that this nation finally can uh, uh escape this 100 year of ethnic cleansing which is taking place at large against people of ukraine this dates all the way to times of holodomor first it's people first is ukrainians first is ukrainians and those that go to the front line to die over there to defend to the bitter end should uh, deserve to be seen as a human beings at least if not even ukrainians okay i'm gonna put it this way and remember nazis are made the yesterday partisan that i demonstrated you these guys here that i demonstrated you that are out there to defend their language their culture their nationality their right to exist in this case in the case of russian aggression more likely than not if they are not going to get the assistance from the world they're not going to be seen as a human being and going to be mistreated. They are going to start to see themselves in something that is highly, highly unlikely. But it's basically exactly the protege on which Vladimir Putin built his career. And I'm afraid so did Zelensky.